Hello guys, this this video is the second part of uh, Chipkit DP32 um, controlling with the uh, Arduino IDE. Um, in the last video I showed you how to control uh, LEDs and motors. Uh, but this video is going to be in detail about controlling motor or maybe I'm gonna, going to show you how to install uh, LCD uh, using Chipkit uh, 32. DP32. Um, to install a boot lid loader of Arduino on Chipkit and DP32, uh, please follow this link uh, that there was created a video created by my uh, professor. Um, please follow this link, and you will uh, have all your answers how to set up uh, your Chipkit to. Um, work in an Arduino IDE. Also, he has examples uh, of doing calculus using you know, Chipkit 32. So this is the link um, you should uh, follow and um, check out his video about how to set up um, and do some calculus on your Chipkit. Um, so for controlling motors, um, I have written a small um, small code basically um, using pin 14 on chipkit um, dp32 and the motor is going going to run every single second so every single second is going to be stopping and then running for a second all right this the setup i'm using is very simple uh, to follow i have uh, motors one wire connecting uh, positive connecting to um, positive side of the breadboard and that's where I connect the positive side of uh, the battery pack um, then um, I have a negative side connected beside the um, transistor and then I have the white cable that is coming out uh, you can see from here that goes directly into the ground of uh, DP32 and then I have pin 14 uh, connected directly to positive side of the um, transistor. Uh, and then I have a negative side of the battery connected to the negative side of the breadboard. Um, I'm using pin 14 as I said before. Um, there's the code, look at the code here. Uh, I'm using pin 14. So let me go ahead and um, show you how it runs. I'm going to in, uh, install the boot loader from using MP LabX. I have the bootloader file already there. I'm just, again, I'm going to click uh, at the make program and device man project and then just click it and it's going to load uh, the bootloader. Well, right now it's finding the device um, and then you can see it's programming um, the device and it's done now I'm going to connect uh, the wires to the board and I'll show you how the motor runs. okay right now I'm going to click on uh, building the project basically verify the code that is working or not um, so it's compiling sketch. Um, it's going to say it's okay. So it's been verified that it's going to work. You can see that uh, my chip kit DP32 on dev TTY ACM0, which is the USB port I'm using. So I'm going to upload the code into my chip kit. So click upload. Um, and it's running it's finding the device and okay Ooh, I'm having the error so let me see what's going on here okay so somehow my uh, bootloader wasn't installed properly so uh, I managed to install bootloader I managed to upload the the code and you can see the message below that it's done uploading uh, right now uh, every wire is connected to 
uh, DP32 and then breadboard and battery pack and the motor. So I'm going to turn on the motor. Um, well, basically turning on the switch of battery. Here we go. Okay. So you can see yourself that uh, the battery is running for every um, one second. Well, it's more than one, but yeah. So you can see the battery is running right now. Um, and you can hear the voice, and every one second or so, it's uh, stopping and then running back again. So this is the really easy. Um, circuit to do you can do it at home or you can it's really easy to get the parts the parts are really cheap and um, be sure to check my next videos out uh, hopefully I will be using uh, Big Laboon or um, Andrino Uno to control um, the rover model I have um, and uh, probably I'm going to attach the screen that I'm uh, using right now to the chip 32 board very soon. So um, bear with me on that. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.